<laughs> yeah. Uh, no, no, just talk. Act like, okay. you know. So, first we put the butter in the mixer and we cream it, make sure that it's fluffy. And we add the sugar and mix that together, cream it some more. And then we like scrape, we stop it and scrape the sides to make sure that like all the clumps at the bottom get mixed in with the rest of the batter. So you all, you do this all at one time, like all five pounds of butter at once. Yeah, and all the sugar all at once. Okay, so the the butter is at room temperature. Is um, it? Yeah, it should be like a little bit soft so a that you don't soft, have clumps. But not right out of the fridge. So. Okay. Um, and then we usually mix the vanilla and the milk, and then the flour, uh, cocoa powder, baking soda, and salt are all together. All the dry ingredients? Yeah. Get mixed together? Yeah. Before they are incorporated in? Yeah. Um, when, the, you, when you say you mix the milk? The milk and the vanilla, the wet ingredients, we mix okay. those. Uh, separately also. Okay, so at this point you're not putting anything into the butter sugar sugar mixture. Yeah. You're just, you've got butter sugar in a mixing yeah. area. You've got a big bowl with milk and vanilla, wet ingredients, and then you have a separate bowl with all the rest, the dry. Yeah. Okay. And then I usually add like half of the dry ingredients into the butter and the sugar okay. and mix it. Okay. Um, and I scrape that and then I add half of the wet, okay. mix it, and then add half of the dry, scrape it, and then the, add the other half of the wet. Okay. Um, ultimately, they all get mixed in together. Yeah. Okay. But you're just alternating between, between wet dry. and dry. Yeah. Okay. You, you do dry first or wet first? Um, dry first. Okay. Yeah. All right. I think some people do all of the dry together in, and then some of the wet. I just like to alternate it so that there isn't flour everywhere. Right. Yeah. Okay. And what kind of consistency are you looking for? Just thoroughly incorporated? Um, yeah, it should, like, once it starts mixing, it won't really be sticking to the side of the... It'll be more of a, a dough yeah, at that it'll point. Be Not wet. It'll be, no. need, like, you could kneadable and yeah. everything. Okay. Yeah, you should be able to, like, take it out and just, like, clunk it onto the table. Okay. And how big will this recipe be? Like how many cookies? No, or? how much mixture will it be? How much dough will it be? It's a lot of dough. Like is it about that much? This mixer over here. We just made a vanilla version of this in here. Okay. And you can see it's like it looks pretty clean. Right. So like that's when you know that it's kind of like all coming together because it won't be sticking to the side. Okay. And this is the attachment that you found? Yeah. Okay. Um, we'll have to see what's down in that kitchen. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be something similar. You could similar. you could do the this in stages. Oh, uh, what do you mean? Like if if that if you knew that was the amount you needed to make in total. You could still make smaller batches, like cut everything in half and then incorporate it all together. Like if you didn't have a mixer this big. Okay. okay. Nice meeting you. If you were using a, a smaller mixer, just because of that was what you had at your disposal, but you still needed to make that much, could you do it in stages and and like have, you know, more like basketball sized dough. Oh, like, make ha like a like, quarter. Like a quarter, and a quarter. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. Are you mixing right into this bowl? Yeah. Like, is it, that's where you start with your butter and sugar? Yeah, okay. I just like put the butter in, put the sugar in, okay. and then I mix the flour separately, like in a bowl, and then gotcha. the milk in another bowl, and then I add it to here. Gotcha. Okay. So now we have our dough. Yes. And what happens then? Then we take it back over to the table. Okay. And we usually measure it out. Um, we usually do like two pounds and three or four ounces for like each little like, clump of dough, I guess. Okay. I don't know what you call it. So you're taking your big dough and you're just kind of 
chopping out pieces of yeah. it, roughly two pound pieces. Yeah. Or just over two pounds. Yeah. Okay. And then we put it through the heater, like each lump we put it through the heater. Okay. Um, and we stretch it out to about, I think it's seven. She told me it was a seven. Yeah. Uh, so that means you would just set that on seven? Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm not sure, on a, like, if you were doing it with a rolling pin, I'm not sure how you would really... How that corresponds to yeah. inches? I mean, are you talking about, like, really? I can the same. Is it close to what the cookie itself is? The cookie yeah. doesn't rise, right? Not really. Okay. I mean, it does a little bit, but not too much. Okay. Maybe a quarter of an inch. Yeah. Okay. So is that about a two pound rollout? Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to take yeah. it out? Yeah, well, just to oh. see how much it makes. Oh, sorry. Thank you. So your one uh, full recipe here will give you how many of these? About eight. Eight of these? Yeah. Okay, so eight flat sheets. Um, yeah, buddy. Okay. So if you're rolling them out by hand, we'll say just under a quarter of an inch. Yeah. Onto a parchment lined baking sheet? Yeah. Okay. And then we usually put two layers of parchment in between each layer. Okay. So that it's like easier to move around. Okay. And you set it in the fridge or for a while or is it okay to bake at that point? Um, we set it to cool for a bit because it's easier to cut. Okay. Um, but you can bake it like right out of the freezer okay. or like room temperature, it doesn't matter. Okay, so at that point you've got your your dough. Now it's time to cut them? Yeah. With the rounds? Yes. Okay. Well, for the ice cream sandwiches, we use this one. Yeah, we're actually doing small, but comparable to your sandwich cookies. Maybe this size, actually. Yeah, that's the size. Okay. Can I touch them? Yeah. Sure. So. We're looking at roughly, oh, do you have your ruler? Okay. Yeah. A two inch round. Yeah. Okay. So you cut those out, and then how do they bake? Uh, like how many per? No, I mean, you take them, you keep them on the same sheet that they're on, then you're just removing yeah. the excess. Oh no, we like cut them out and then we like line them up on a on a baking sheet. Okay, so can you tell me how you prep do you prep that sheet? Yeah, I can show you. I think we have a sheet. Uh, Even if it's a vanilla version. We usually do thirty per sheet. Thank you. So, this size pan will fit 30. Yeah. Um, you just want to space them out. Um, and then you put them into a, a, another pan to bake? Yeah. So we have them all packed. 
prepped out, so we just like glue one parchment onto the baking sheet. Okay. And is the yeah. baking sheet primed in any way, or no, just okay, it's not greased or anything? No. Just, just the one sheet of parchment. Yeah. Okay. And the temperature? Three twenty-five. For. Well, our ovens, like they're all different. So we're not really sure. We just kind of like eyeball it. You eyeball it. Yeah, but it's like maybe like 12 to 13 minutes. 12 to 13 minutes, give, yeah. or, give or take, depending yeah. on the oven. Yeah. At 325. Yeah. Okay. And these come out a bit crunchy. Crunchy? Yeah. They're not like crunchy, crunchy, but. You don't want them Oreo hard, but no. you want them. Not at least to have. Either. 